In order to understand what is exactly a tag, let's just go through a real example. So I'll open this bootstrap project, then I'll just type git log and have this one line, which will give me the condensed, the condensed result plus decorate to show the tags. Okay, and I will find out, I'll try to find for tag. And what do I have here? So we have a tag that represents a version when we have this version 4.3.1. When the first number is used for the major release and the second number is used for the minor release of minor releases and the last one is used for patches. Okay, major, minor, patch. So to summarize, tags are used for versioning for a specific release. Okay, how to create them? But before we create any tag, there is something important here. So as you see, this tag is used as a reference on a specific Git history. And we see that the tag version.3.1 is used on this specific ID. Now let's just create a new tag. Okay, I will move to another project, which is with Apollo. And to check if there is any tag on this project, we'll just type git tag. And now I have nothing, it's empty. Now to create a tag, I'll just use this git tag then the tag name okay the tag name the tag name in our example i will go for version 1.0.0 okay now i create the tag now if i want to check for the tag list i'll use git tag it gives me that there is a version 1.0.0 tag and where it's located so if i just type git log it will be located right here it is here on the head and as I already said, that the tag is a reference that points to a specific point in a Git history. And to check that, to check the references, I will go to the .git folder. Then I will go to the ref folder. And I have a tag folders right here. I just open that. And as you see, it creates a new file version 1.0.0. And if we just open this file, I'll just use cap. And you will see that there is an ID here. So this is a reference. And if we use git log, you will find out and use the search, you will find out that it's a reference, that there is a reference into this commit right here. Let's just return to the folder. Okay. Now, let's just show the log again, and I will use one line to condense the result. Now I want to create another version, but at this specific position. So let's just remove this one line. And I wanna use from here to here, for example, from here, I wanna create a version of, at this specific position, I wanna create a version 0 0.0.9. Okay, let's just select that. And I will use git tag and another option, which will be used for annotate the tags. And you will see that I can add a description for this tag. And I'll use the name of the tag. Let's just go for 0 0.0.9. Then I choose the ID right here. So I will create a reference to this ID. Now it gives me, it just pop up this to, to add a description and I can add just any message. So this is a new version or whatever. Okay, and I can save that. Now, if I just type git tag, I'll have another version and if I just type git log, you will see that I have another version right here. And this is the version one, and I create another tag, version 0 0.0.9. And if we wanna take a look at the git folder, then reference and tags, you'll find out that there is another file .0.0.9, which is a reference. And if we just check out that, display the content of this file, yeah version G zero. So, okay, you'll see that there is a reference into the ID. Now you have an idea on how to list the tags and how to create a tag by using the tag, then the tag name. And we also have an idea on how to create an annotated tag by using the annotated option right here. Then the tag name, you can use any tag name you want. Now, how to delete the tag? For example, for this one, I want to delete it. So to delete this tag, you just need to use git tag, then dash D, 
and the name of the tag. Okay, done. So delete the tag. Now, if I just type git log again, you will not see the tag. Let's just recreate the same tag by using git tag. Okay. Let's go for a new patch. Now, if I just type git log again, you will find out that I have a tag right here. Nah, this is not what I want to create. Not the version one, but version. Let's just remove it. Git tag delete version 1.0.2. Let's just recreate it again. I will use 0.0.9. Go for new patch. Cool. Save that. Time git log again. Okay, I have this tag version 0.0.9. .0 okay, how to check out? So I want to just check out or go to the specific version. Okay, I can use git check out, then the version 0.0.9. Now, if we take a look and I type git log, you only have in, so as you see, this is the head now at the version 0.0.9. You are not given the version 1 commits and you are given all of the commits after of this specific tag. So this is considered as a version 0.0.9. We'll do the same thing for the version 1. Okay, I'll use version.1. Dot zero, and you'll see that now if I just type git log, you'll see that the head is now at the version dot one dot zero dot zero. So you can switch version and go to any version you want. To push the text is straightforward. So you just need to use git then push origin. For example, if you want to push this version dot one dot one tag, you just need to use this push origin version 1.0.0. I don't want to push that because this is a real project and I don't want to push this tag. And to push everything or all the tags, okay, for example, if you want to push this 0 0.0.9 and all of them, you can use git push and this hyphen two times, then tag with plural, not singular. Now you can push all the tags into the remote. And to have a definition for the difference between a tag and a branch. So just think of a tag like a branch or a read only branch when you can't modify anything. And the branch is the line of development because branch can be merged with another branches when you can do commits and do changes and everything. But this is not the case for a tag. A tag is just used as a reference, as a reference that can point to a specific point in the history. So in this case, we we'll just define a one part. So we'll go to this point to define a tag. So use tags for versioning for specific releases.